Bossy, bossy boss. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, tools. Let's build a house for the ducks. Yeah, where they can stay warm all winter long. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran with their tools to tell the ducks about their big building project. Well, what do you think? <laughs> You want to help? Do you have your own tools? Wow! I guess you do. So who's going to be in charge? Well, I think I'm the natural leader for this job, so I should be in charge. OK. Then you're the boss, Kit. Great. We'll build the house here on the beach so the ducks can go swimming just as soon as they step outside. But the ground up there looks a lot more solid. Well, maybe so, but I'm the boss, and I want to build it here. Okay. Great! Now we need to fill in the gaps between these logs. Let's use jelly. Jelly? Yeah, it's really sticky, and if we get hungry, we can make sandwiches. But Quack thinks cement would be stronger. Well, maybe so, but I'm the boss, and I want to use jelly. Okay. Perfect. Now, all we need is the roof. Right. Quack thinks we should use these wooden shingles. Well, I'm the boss, and I think we should use scotch tape. Scotch tape? Yeah, so we'll be able to see the sky from inside. Soon the house was finished just the way Kit wanted. See? Isn't it great? Where's that wind coming from? Shoo! Go away, bear! But I'm hungry. Kit, look up there! Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Not for long. Don't worry, it's just a little leak. Not anymore. We better get out of here. Then along came a mysterious stranger. My goodness, children. What are you doing out here on such a cold, wet day? We came to build a house for the ducks. Then you should get inside there to dry off and get warm. We can't. It fell apart. How come? Because we built it on sand with jelly and scotch tape. Really? And whose ideas were those? His. I wanted to build it up here, and the ducks wanted to use cement and shingles. But he wouldn't listen. Why not? Because I'm the boss, and that means we get to make it my way, with my ideas. And what if you tried using some of their ideas? Well, we'd probably be inside a nice warm house. Oh. I understand. Being the boss doesn't mean just getting your own way. It means listening to everyone so you can choose the best way. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, I'll try to be a good boss instead of just a bossy one. Now, now we know, know, so back we go! go. Kit and Kate started their building adventure all over again. But this time, Kit listened to everyone's ideas and chose the ones that were best, even if they weren't his own. Thanks for all the great ideas, everyone. And I've got one more. Let's eat jelly sandwiches. We got plenty. Did someone say jelly sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> the real deal. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a movie camera and a megaphone. 
Let's be movie makers! Yeah! We can make our own movie at k, &K Studios! Go, go Kitty Kitties, let's go! When Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box, their room transformed into a real movie studio with fantastic sets. Wow, this place is great! And look, here's a theater where we can show our movie when it's done! Yeah, now all we need is an actor. Did someone say actor? Then I'm your elf! I can juggle, do magic, and be super silly for your movie! Really? Really, I promise! Looks like we found our lead. But before we start, I want you to promise me something. What? That I can do my Uchi Gucci dance in your movie. We, we promise. promise. Then it's a deal. Great. Roll them, Kit. And action. Once there was an elf who loved to be magically silly. Whoop -de -doo, whoop -de -doo, whoop -de -doo, whoop -de -doo, whoop -de -doo. Cut. That was amazing. Thanks. Just wait till you see my next trick. And action! Zippity doo! <laughs> Cut! We love it! So now can I do my Uchi Gucci dance? Sure, but could you do a little juggling first? You got it! Could you juggle a pickle? What? And a pink piggy! <laughs> And a big bike horn! <laughs> Cut! Stupendous! Yeah, you can't beat that ending! Let's go show it at the theater right now! See you there, Mr. Mr. Elf! But my Ochi Gucci dance! Don't worry, the movie's great! Everyone's gonna love it! But you promised! We had a deal! <laughs> Kid and Kate couldn't wait to show everyone what they made. But when the movie came on the big screen, the kitties couldn't believe their eyes. Huh? Once there were two kitties named Kit and Kate. They were bad, bad kitties who didn't keep their promises. <gasps> and what do we think of kitties who don't keep their promises? Boo! 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 I'm leaving. Yeah, me too. Boo! Boo! Oh, no! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? That mean elf ruined our movie. Just because we didn't film his silly dance. Really? Why did he think you'd film his dance? Well, we promised we would, after we filmed everything he promised to do. Hmm. Did he do everything he promised? Yeah. But everything he did was so great we didn't need his dance anymore. So he did what he promised, but you didn't. Well, no. And how would you have felt if the elf hadn't done what he promised? That you can't trust elves. Hey, I get it. Making a promise is telling someone they can trust you. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll keep our promise. Right. A deal's a deal. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their movie-making adventure all over again. But this time... How about some magic juggling? Yeah! Oh, wait, no. We have another scene we need to film. But juggling would be so funny. Maybe, but we made a promise, and we have to keep it. Right, Mr. Elf, it's time for... Uchi Gucci! And... Uchi Gucci, Uchi Gucci, Uchi Gucci Go. Uchi Gucci, Uchi Gucci, Uchi Gucci Go. We all do. Uchi Gucci, Uchi Gucci, Uchi Gucci And Kid and Kate made the elves so happy with a blockbuster idea, keeping their promise. Good enough. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a mummy and a shovel. Let's be archaeologists and uncover ancient treasures. Yeah, and maybe we can find that mummy's daddy. <laughs> go, go, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate ran across the desert to the ancient pyramid of King Cat. <gasps> it sure is hot. Not for them. Come on, let's go. We're archaeologists, remember? Wow! 
Look at all this stuff. Look, Kit. I'm an ancient Egyptian. But can you walk like one? Do 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 do. <laughs> Kittens, hurry! I've made the discovery of a lifetime. We're right behind you. Do 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 do. Here it is, the ancient statue of King Cat. That's a statue. Well, it will be as soon as you put it all together. Then it will look like this. Ah, oh, that'll be easy. We're really good at puzzles. Perfect, because we have to present it tonight at the museum. Good luck. And as soon as you're done, you can go swimming. Thanks. Ready, Kate? Here's a leg. Glue it to the base. Are you sure this goes here? It's good enough. Let's just finish real quick so we can go swimming. Okay. Here's another piece. Is this an ear or the nose? Just make it the nose. You see? That's good enough. Kid and Kate worked as quickly as they could, and soon they were all finished. Well, sort of. Done. Now, let's go swimming. It looks funny. It's good enough. Just cover it up. But there's still pieces left. Kate, we said we'd put it together. And we put it together, right? That means it's time for swimming. Come on! Aww. Hey, Kit, wait for me! The kitten spent the rest of the day swimming with the ducks until it was time for them to go and present the statue at the museum party. It is with great honor that we present King Cat. What? Maybe we should have put the tail over here. That was a priceless treasure. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, no. We ruined everything. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Wow. What happened? We were supposed to put this ancient statue together, but we did it all wrong. Why? Was it too hard? No, but I was in a rush to finish. How come? Because once we were done, we could go swimming. So I just did everything really fast, because I thought it would be good enough. And was it good enough? No, it's ruined. Hey, I understand. Good enough isn't really good enough if you're not trying your best. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll try our best and make sure we do it right. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their archaeological adventure all over again. But this time... Take your time, Kate. We'll get it. They didn't rush. I got it! It was upside down! And tried their best until they were done. And when the director uncovered the statue, the kittens didn't just feel good, they felt great. Great job, kittens! How about that swim? Last one in is a rotten egg! Look out! <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh! <laughs> Making friends. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, lab coats and a beaker. We can be scientists. Yeah, and make a great discovery. Go, Kitty Kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the laboratory, excited to begin their scientific work. Welcome, I'm Linda Lamb, your assistant. Let me show you around. Wow, we can discover all kinds of things here, Kit. <laughs> yeah, like how funny your face looks. So, what would you like to discover? How about how to make a perfect friend? That's a great idea, Kate. Then we can play any game we want. Could I be your friend? Maybe? Well, a perfect friend does what we want to do. Okay. So, what do you want to do? Gurry races! Yeah! Oh. What?
What's wrong, Linda? That game's a little too scary for me. We can fix that. Just get in this changing chamber. But I don't need fixing. You want to be our perfect friend, don't you? Well, okay. Let's give her some lion courage. Ooh, and some monkey playfulness. <laughs> yeah, and elephant strength, too. Cool. Now we'll turn Linda into a perfect friend. Let's play. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I win, you lose! Yeah! You are a perfect friend now, Linda. Let's race again. Nah, I'm bored with that. I want to do something a lot more fun and a lot more dangerous. Let's swing from those chains. No thanks. Playing way up there is scary. Yeah, we can fall and get hurt. Can't we play ball instead? No, because now you're my friends and friends do what I want. But we, we don't, don't want, want to. to. I can fix that. I know how to turn you into perfect friends. Stop. Put us down. We don't want to. Oh. Kate, run. Wait, come back. <sighs> Let's hide here. Then along came a mysterious stranger. My goodness, kittens. Why are you hiding behind a bush? We tried to make a perfect friend in the lab. A perfect friend? What's that? Someone who plays what you want, even if they don't want to. And the friend you made wasn't perfect? At first she was. After we changed her, she did just what we wanted. But then she wanted us to do things we didn't want to do. But I thought perfect friends do what their friends want. Oh, now I understand. Perfect friends don't just play what you want. They find things they all like to play together. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, instead of trying to change our friend, we'll try to find things we all like to play. Perfect. Now, now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their scientific experiment all over again. But this time, instead of trying to make a perfect friend, they tried to be perfect friends themselves. So, what do you want to do? Gurney races! Yeah! What's wrong, Linda? That game's a little too scary for me. That's okay. I'm sure we can find something we all like to do. How about hide and seek? In the dark! With flashlights! Perfect. And Kit, Kate, and Linda were just perfect friends. Once they found games, they all liked to play. And, and that's, that's a great discovery. Circus the Circus. What do you want to play today, Kate? Nothing. I'm in a bad mood. Come on, Grumpy. Let's look in the box. Look, clown noses. We can join the circus. Boring. No, it'll be fun. Go, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and headed straight to the circus. Kit couldn't wait to join. If only Kate felt the same way. This is gonna be great! Boring! Excuse me, can we join your circus? It depends on how good you are. Can you do something like that? We can do that. Doesn't that look great? More like boring. Stop it. It'll be fun. Watch. Woo! This is dumb. Wait till you try this. It's awesome. OK, Kate. Catch me on three. One, two, three. Huh? Hey, why didn't you catch me? I didn't feel like it. It's boring. That had to be the worst trapeze act I'd ever seen. No, please, give us another chance. Well, OK. Think you can do something like that? Sure, come on, Kate. 
Okay, Kate, I'll toss this to you and you toss them back. Ready? One, two, three. Kate, what are you doing? You have to throw them back. Throw them back. Ow! Thanks. Wow, your juggling is even worse than your trapeze. No, please. Just one last chance. All right, one last chance. Can you do that? Okay, Kate, climb up on the platform. And as soon as I land on the seesaw, you jump down. Get ready, here I come. Go on, Kate, jump off the platform. What are you doing? It's boring. No, you have to jump off the platform. Just jump off the platform. Oh, hi, Lion. Lion! If that's the best you've got, I can't let you in my circus. Sorry. Kate! Who cares? I told you this was boring. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Wow, <laughs> what happened? I wanted us to be in the circus, but Kate wouldn't do anything. How come? It's all dumb and boring. It looks fun to me. Not when you're in a bad mood. You like to ride your bike, right? I guess. Are you always in a good mood when you start? No. And how do you feel after you finish biking? Good. Oh, I get it. Doing things you like can change your bad mood to a good one. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, I'll see if doing fun stuff makes my bad mood better. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their circus adventure all over again. But this time, Kate tried turning her bad mood around. Okay, Kate. One, two, and gotcha. You know, I'm feeling a little better already. Wow, this really is fun. Ready? Ready. Hello, Lion. And by doing things that were fun, Kate was able to turn her bad mood into a glad mood.